for the realization to come within someone that his upbringing was not correct that's what is going to create the difference i mean that that's the fundamental logic that we're applying over here but what if he never realizes that his upbringing was wrong it is not possible to not to realize that you are suffering because if you are containing rubbish in your mind it will show up directly in your daily experiences moment to moment experiences you will experience insecurity and fear you will experience unnecessary doubt and conflict and if you are experiencing that it is your responsibility to ask isn't a way out possible you may not know how your past has been you may consider your past to be rotten or you may consider your past to be luminous you are what you are right and if you are not centered if your mind is fragmented and conditioned the net result will be an experience of loneliness anxiety insecurity and you do not like that do you if you do not like that what prevents you from seeking redemption and relief why aren't you in love with yourself if we go further in this most of the things will like will just drop like in my office i see people and uh, intense uh, thoughts come why are they, why are they don't know what they are doing why are they compromising many things that they sh- can they could have done and if i apply that then everything most of the things will drop like Uh, like for as an interest so uh, most of the things like for example i'm going for a course but i don't have an interest but majority of the people are going for a course for mba for some study most of the things will drop for me almost everything will drop for me then this then this is scary like everything i don't have any interest in politics knowing any politics this is i'm talking about i don't have any interest about uh, interest for further studies i don't have any interest about etc etc <coughs> but these majority of people are doing doing it so this is very scary for me like i'm earning right now by doing that and by living as them the son of a lion hmm? a cub gets accidentally lost hmm? and he is now living amongst dogs and the dogs are digging for rubbish the dogs are yelling at strangers the dogs are doing all those things the dogs do and the cub cannot relate to any of their activities the cub says i do not want to put my mouth into garbage as dogs do i don't want to wag my tail just to get some food i don't want to unnecessarily bark at people the cub says i don't want to do any of this when the cup says this 
इज इट अ गुड साइन और अ बैड साइन वुड इट बी एनी बेटर इफ द कब बिकम्स वन ऑफ द डॉग्स वुड इट बी बेटर इफ द कब स्टार्ट फोरिंग इन टू गार्बेज टू सर्वाइव एंड इट्स अ कब इट कैन डू मच बेटर then chase rubbish it's not a matter of disappointment <coughs> it is natural in the purest sense of the word nature if you do not relate to what the world is doing that only means that there is something else that is your calling and you must be boldly prepared for it why do you think that only that which people around you are doing is worthy of being done why do you think that the 7 8 or 12 options that you see people exercising around you <coughs> are the only options in life there is an open sky and infinite directions and infinite possibilities are there you are enclosed you are surrounded with a particular type of people the sky has no type do not unnecessarily try to fit in do not needlessly try to belong you already belong you belong elsewhere be mindful of your real belonging if the cub starts belonging to a pack of hounds it is a great misfortune do not belong it is wonderful if you are a misfit we need many many more people who find themselves misfits in the existing social order and if you are a misfit there rest assured something much better much higher is waiting for you somewhere just pray and be bold enough to take the opportunity when it comes to you the opportunity will not shout aloud it will not scream i am your destiny it would not be carrying a holding the opportunity would be subtle grab it i know the kind of pressure the mind experiences when you see everybody around you going in a few specific directions one feels left out <coughs> one feels like a fool one starts saying can so many people be wrong am i the only fountain head of wisdom and if you do not say that there are many others around you who are intent on sowing doubt in you remain firm in those movements
remember that the top is never full of people <coughs> and places that are full of people are never the top so if the crowd is going somewhere there is any way a big probability that the place is not right their only strength is in numbers left to themselves they would suffocate they survive because they are holding each other's hands and they are holding each other's hands because they are not holding the hand of the truth their mutual companionship is not a sign of love it is just dependency and it is a treacherous dependency because they have betrayed the father so they have now organized themselves into a gang they are together like the hand and the glove are together in a crime they aren't together like the wick and the flame their togetherness is not an illuminating phenomena their togetherness is something that sinks both of them and the world around them and i must ask you why must the cub be found with the dogs for long it's all right to <coughs> teach the cub to not to be pressurized by the ways of the dogs that's all right but more important than that is the question son why are you there still when you have started seeing that you aren't one of them why are you there still what forces you to stay put why can't you just break away don't you know your real home it's all right if you don't now you at least know that this place that you are in is not real even if you do not know where the real home is at least get out of this place and that will require a certain faith otherwise you will say if i leave this what do i have in hand you will ask for assurances about the future and they are never available you have to take a blind leap you have to say it doesn't matter what lies outside the burning house i cannot stay in the burning house i may not know what is there when i cross that damn burning door but i must still cross that door yes one last question that uh, 
you will never have that in fact talking of complete anything is such an escape do not talk of the absolute the complete the perfect you have what you have limitations boundaries doubts parts make do with them if you keep asking for the total you are only postponing your <coughs> escape your departure your freedom i will rebel when the day is perfect will that perfect day ever come rebel today today is not a perfect day but all imperfect days are perfect for the right thing move along with your fear let fear remain let fear remain do not wait for the fear to eclipse you may have to wait all your life and still find that fear is there move with fear you know fear is like body flap do you sit and wish for the flap to disappear or do you move with the flap and then the flap disappears huh do you say because i am 100 kilograms so i will not run <coughs> i will run when i am 60 if you are 100 run with your 100 kilos run with your 100 kilos do not ask for perfection by running with your 100 kilos maybe you will lose some of them 